comprehensive rezoning within the city limits of Gainesville is a process that hasn't happened for more than two decades. But now some city leaders believe it's time to update the land development code. TV 20's Chris Gilmore reports some business owners, though, want to make sure they don't get rezoned right out of business. The city's planning department has had multiple public meetings leading up to this point, Dave. It's all in hopes of balancing community interests with the city's comprehensive plan for expansion and development. I spoke to one business owner who's attended several of these outreach meetings to try and ensure the little guy's not forgotten. Business owner Mickey Figueroa opened his shop Best Motor Works and Sports 10 years ago, and he says he's loved every minute of it. This, this is what we live for. This is not just our life. This is what we live and what we, what we breathe every day for. 7.30 to 5, Monday to Friday. He was shocked to find out his shop, his livelihood, was up for rezoning after receiving a notice in the mail. What was in the letter? Well, a notification that his business's zoning designation was about to get shuffled up. That the city of Gainesville is contemplating the idea of uh, multi-zoning or changing the zoning in our property. Something that happens in most cities fairly often, but in Gainesville, it's been 22 plus years. There are disparate sections of codes. We're trying to reconcile that and uh, bring it into the current comprehensive plan that, that again, we update every, every five years. Part of that update includes form-based planning, something city leaders describe as an easier way of delivering zoning designations. What do buildings look like? How do they address the street? You know, how much separation is there between the sidewalk? What does that area between the back of the walk and the building look like? So it's more of a form and less of an, em and less of an emphasis on the uses, although there are still, of course, use components. Some of those property uses presented as changes don't include industrial use for properties like Figueroa's and others in the neighborhood. He says the prospect of having to shut down or move his auto shop because of zoning changes is heartbreaking. Day in and day out, blood, sweat and tears trying to establish some kind of security blanket for you and your family. And all of a sudden that blanket has been pulled from under. Figueroa received an email this afternoon stating that city staff plan on recommending that no zoning changes be made to his business. This will be announced at tonight's planning board meeting at 630. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.